Hello friends, today welcome to my third lecture on this C++ tutorial. Today we will talk about the variables in C++. So this is a programming language where you have to specify the data type and uh, whenever you are using some new variable. So first let me just uh, name it, write a program dot variable dot cc and uh, then just maybe copy some code from here maybe copy from here yeah the old one the hello world code this is the simplest one and let me start with this so what kind of data type you may have okay so here you can have the int 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 means integer so integer can be like 4 5 1 2 3 4 and that's all and every c++ code should have this semicolon in the last of your line okay mm. then maybe double uh, double is it, you, you can store here some number like 1.4 or 5.4 10.4 uh, 5.6, 7.8, 7.89, whatever. So, this float numbers can be stored in double. And actually, you can, mm, uh, yeah, so, and, uh, hmm. and you can also write float also. Okay, float maybe b is equals to uh, 7.3 okay so this is just only the simple difference uh, between this float and double that is the difference in the how this number are stored in the computer okay so this float is the single position and this double is the double position number so whenever you have not the complete number then it is float or double and if it is a complete integer number then it is int so you can just uh, display these numbers with this uh, maybe a then just give us some space and uh, then b then give some space and then x and uh, maybe endl okay so now run it and you can see that a is uh, written, uh, printed here 4, B is printed here 7.3 and X is 1.4. So this is how we can store these numbers in, in this int, float, uh, double and you can also um, do another kind of uh, thing that is boolean. Boolean means it can be true or false that is 1 or 0. Okay. So for that uh, let me just uh, write like this p is equals to true so you can just uh, write p and then again just run it you can see this is one this is one when this is true and this is zero so this is simply a boolean algebra okay so oh sorry false spelling is wrong now this is corrected and you can see that uh, your uh, this p is actually here with this zero now because it is false you can just uh, specify the variable name here also that is uh, this is a okay this is b this is p and this is x okay so you can see that a b p x okay so uh, after that you can also just uh, check like this uh, you can put some tab okay whenever if you want some more space between this uh, the number hello that is 7.3 this and p okay so this will print 7.3 and with this p so there is one space because i have put this one space but with tab this backslash t so this tab will generate space of length 4 okay so 
then you can see that there is some more space here okay so this is more than this one so now you can see and uh, that with this slash backslash t you can put some tab and with some even you can just create a new line here after printing this a then it, it, it will be in the new line so you can see that a and a so a is this is a string and then you are printing this number a so after that there is a new line so after that it is going to a new line and then b colon 7.3 so you can may not give this colon equal you can write equal so that it is b equals to 7.3 so uh, in within this uh, uh, double quotes you can write whatever because this will be treated as, as string but uh, whenever you want to uh, use the string as a data type then you have to include strings okay so for that let me string okay so okay so for the uh, then I can just uh, write some string uh, uh, string st is equals to uh, hello not hello world maybe subscribe <laughs> subscribe and uh, end this with the semicolon and uh, then just print so this is uh, this hello world is written here so that I have not uh, written this hello world again now st so you can just write it as a variable the string variable st string variable then now you can just yes now after that hello world you have just printed subscribe because this st but it can have some another value because look uh, this hello world is constant because you have written you have hard coded it but now you can change this st to um, subscribe my channel then after that just uh, see out it and then you can just see see that it will print not subscribe subscribe my channel you can see here so it is changed but this hello world it cannot be changed okay so i have just defined this string variable st as subscribe then printed it here and after that i have just uh, changed the value and then i have again printed this and then this printed value is different from the previous one so that you can use this string variable too okay so you have learned here different data types like integer double float uh, boolean string and that's all for this tutorial class thank you for your attention and subscribe